And I wonder, was there a move away from uh, a Christocentric view to sort of a, uh, a view that put the natural world at the center? Are we seeing a manifestation of that in greater terms today through the New Age movement and uh, sort of the deep ecology movement? You know, we, we may be, I, I don't know, but there's something that I find really interesting. When I talk to the average environmentalist, the, the average person who cares, and even those people who are involved in the environmental movement in some kind of cause and are advocating for a particular cause, and I start asking them about the basis for their concern for the environment, I find that um, there's a real problem in their thinking, and I, and I think as Christians we can make a contribution to this area. And the problem in their thinking is that, that they can only describe the value of the environment in utilitarian terms. Uh, and yet they recognize somehow that there's a moral obligation that comes from an intrinsic value to the environment, but they can't describe what that intrinsic value is or what its grounding is. And so I think we can exploit that as Christians and ask them, you know, say we, we acknowledge that we have a moral obligation with respect to the environment, but, but perhaps as Christians we have an explanation for why we recognize that, and it's because we have a creator. I think you're exactly right to trace the roots of this back to the Enlightenment, which really was a denial of the existence of God or the authority of God, and it gave the authority to human reason. Now, I think people are wrong to think of the biblical environmental ethic as being anthropocentric. It's really theocentric. But if you deny the existence of God, it can't be theocentric because there's nothing for it to center on. So contemporary environmental ethics is usually either biocentric, that is focused on the value of living things, or ecocentric, focused on values like ecosystemic holism, or the more extreme radical fringe Gaia-centric goddess mother earth or resacralization of nature. But none of these can answer some of the more fundamental questions, only a theocentric ethic can. Yeah, it reminds me of what an old teacher of mine said. In fact, John Warwick Montgomery, you remember him. Uh, he said that, this is a little bit of a simplistic notion, but uh, that in the, in the 18th century, the Bible died you know, through the Enlightenment uh, uh, critique. And in the 19th century, God died. You know, And then in the 20th century, humans died. I mean, mm -hmm. it seems like that kind of analysis, you could actually trace uh, the environmentalist movement in some respects, too. Biola University offers a variety of biblically-centered degree programs, ranging from business to ministry to the arts and sciences. Visit biola.edu to find out how Biola could make a difference in your life.